Hi, my name is Jeffrey Saunders. I'm also known as the Canadian Healing Medium. So today I'm going to share my story about my near-death experience and how I'm also still living through that experience that hasn't ended for me since February of 2018. But there is a little bit of a backstory that must be told before we get into my near-death experience and how I'm still living through it today for the reason and how I'm giving back in my life today. I'm going to start my story off from the time when I was four years old and going through my first experience with by a babysitter and going through that experience, not saying anything and holding on to those energies as a little boy, I was afraid and feeling ashamed that I was going to get in trouble and never told anyone. At home, I lived with a lot of verbal and emotional abuse from a father who is not emotionally available for a little boy who needed his father. Every year at home, feeling not worthy or good enough, not feeling any love in the way that he needed during those years. Feeling the fear at home at times for my father, carrying that weight moving forward that I was not worthy or good enough. Each year when I went to school, I was picked on and bullied. Each year there was always that one bully that would pick on me. Being scared each year that I was going to be beat up after school or during recess, I lived in this state of fear. Again, I did not feel worthy or good enough because I was being beat up day after day. My family and I moved around year after year and it was a different school each year. The teachers treated me different because I had severe ADHD, but they didn't know back in the early 80s, mid 80s, they didn't have any information about ADHD. So I was treated like a bad kid because I could not sit still and focus because of the severity of my ADHD when I found out and was diagnosed at the age of 33 for the first time. So each year, each teacher either put my desk in the hallway or a desk in the office or just being separated from the students in the class. Through all these beginning years of my life of not feeling worthy or good enough, living in fear at home, living at fear each day at school, it caused me to have my first attempt at the age of 12 years old. I had 12 more attempts throughout my life and the last one happened for me when I was at the age of 40 back in February of 2018. Throughout the younger years of my life, I carried hate and resentments towards those who harmed me. Because I was left unhealed, I was repeating some of the experiences that I went through in certain relationships. As a teenager growing up, I lived through having a lot of hate and resentments and then carrying shame and guilt for my actions and shame and guilt for what others have done to me. I started with addictions at the age of eight years old, which were video games that took me away from feeling the emotions that were trapped within me of not feeling worthy or good enough. Started stealing money just to go to the arcade so that I could zone out and not feel the unhealed energies that I was not worthy or good enough. It then led on to addictions of having that off and on all throughout my life of, of struggling and suffering with addictions, which was food, steroids, sex, stealing, video games, and drugs. In my late 20s to early 30s, I had 10 more attempts of trying to end my life. It was at the age of 17 years old when I first started outside help with therapy. in my life having at least 150 sessions of therapy that only ever did so much. Being in different programs, different treatment centers, they gave me the tools and knowledge to know more, but it still didn't change the feeling within that I wasn't worthy or good enough because of the shame and guilt that I carried and the hate and resentments that I carried for the harm that was done to me by those who were also suffering in their own shame and guilt, of their own hate and resentments. 
understanding my life today, it was never personal to the truth of who I am. It was their own suffering that they were repeating. By the age of 40 years old, there is a 10 year gap from trying to end my life. And because of medications and the energies that were within me that were still left unhealed, it caused me to try to take my life again. I was at home overdosing myself on drugs and I laid back and I could feel my heart going, trying to purposely OD so that my heart would stop. I thought this time I'm going to do it right. I'm going to make sure that my life ends. My heart was struggling to keep beating and I started holding my breath on the couch. And longer and longer and longer I could hold my breath until finally I realized I wasn't breathing anymore. As I was lying there, I then noticed that I shifted from the human mind's consciousness, the aliveness of thoughts created within the human being, and then the soul's consciousness. When we go to pass over, the shifting to the consciousness of the soul where the aliveness of thoughts are created within the truth of who we are within these physical forms. I could feel my body of energy and the truth of my light of, the, of my energy. Shifting back and forth within my body and telling God, I don't want to die, but can you please show me the other side? In that moment, a portal window opened up right in front of me. There were vivid colors of a room. I could see pillars and the walls and giant chandeliers hanging before me. I peeked my head in through the portal window that was before me, and I was just staring at all the beautiful colors that were in this room. There was a bright white light that was coming off the chandeliers that I was starting to stare at. And I started to lose myself into that light coming from the chandeliers. I know I went to two other places, but it wasn't meant for me to remember. But then all of a sudden, I could hear my mom's voice, like she was outside my door. But no one was around me in my home telling me to keep breathing, son, to keep breathing, panicking, hearing her outside of my patio door, sounding like she was banging on it and telling me that the ambulance is almost here. In that moment, I was just laying in my body, just observing everything that was going on. After a couple minutes of hearing her voice in panic and then hearing the ambulance come, which never came, but it was made for me to pretend like it was happening. So I would come back to my physical form and then there was a shock within my body and then I shifted back to my human consciousness, back to the aliveness of my body. I was told by spirit that I was dead for four minutes laying on my couch before I came back. Since coming back to my body, all I feel is my body of energy. I don't feel my physical form like I once did. I am in the alignment of the present moment feeling the aliveness of my soul within this human form, and this is what I live through today. I am gifted to see energy in a very unique way. It is not colors that I see, but it is the outline of the frequency of the being of light of who we all are within these physical forms. When I got up and got off my couch, I started walking around my apartment, pissed off again that I was back within my human form and that I didn't die living fully back in the human consciousness. All of a sudden, I could start seeing bodies of energy that were around me, different beings of different light, different races, animals, all just walking around and observing what I was going through, or just passing through my apartment and going to wherever they were going to next. I started interacting with them and speaking to them, and I could see their head shifting for yes and no when I would speak to them. I started learning and growing with the truth of who we are as I live through different dimensions of frequencies while I am in, within this human form. I then started going to a spiritualist church because I heard they had programs for mediums or for those who are gifted in different ways and I wanted to learn and understand why I was able to see in the way I could see. 
and trying to understand more about the truth of what it was I was going through. Because of that experience, I learned how to connect to the pureness of light energy to be healing people in the way that I can heal people in my life today. After leaving the year of the Spiritualist Church in the summer of 2019, I started working with my healing guide, different archangels, Jesus, Ascendant Masters, in my room every day, seven days a week, working with them, shining light on me in my room, and putting me through personal experiences to understand more than what I knew, so that I could learn and grow from them to be able to give back here in the way that I'm able to give back. After two years of working with them directly, I then started working in the lower dimensions of what we call hell. Every feeling that we feel of suffering is a dimension on the other side. It is a different vibration, and every vibration that is different is a feeling. So those who are suffering in the ways that they are suffering here, what's actually happening is the soul within us is going through a ride each and every day by how you feel. Going through these dimensions because I'm able to see energy in the way that I am and shifting through these dimensions of suffering, I was able to learn and grow in the last two years of my life of completing going through these levels to learn and grow to give back here to bring freedom from those who are suffering with mental health illnesses and then also with physical pain and suffering and being able to do it all through distant work. The higher evolved beings of light put me through experiences in that first two years that released me from all mental health illnesses. Since the summer of 2019, I do not have PTSD or triggers. I do not have depression. After 40 years of suffering and with ADHD and anxiety, I no longer suffer with anything after removing the energies that are lower vibrational energies of suffering. And that we pick them up from when we first suffered in life and we gain these attachments. And what ends up happening is they're thicker and thicker and thicker layers for each person who has suffered in different ways through a different feeling of that vibration causes your soul to hold on to energy that is causing mental health illnesses here. I've been through so many different experiences in the last few years of my life in the lower dimensions of hell of suffering. When we go back to the pureness of light, there will be judgment, but it's understanding how did you learn and grow from these experiences here? And those who do not feel worthy of their light, of, of not feeling worthy or good enough because of the actions of what others have done to them, or what we have done to others is coming to understand that we are the pureness of light beings. But in this dimension of earth that we come to, there are different vibrations that people are going through each and every day of their own suffering from those who are left unhealed from past generations. Past generations never had the opportunity to have the understandings of the vibrations and frequencies which are causing the suffering here and then they pass it on to another because they are not healed and that aliveness of that darkness of that vibration of that feeling overrides the human mind to cause out and act in a way of harming another. In my life today, I am here to teach about not putting blame on people anymore, not blaming yourself and blaming others and understanding the truth of why harm is being done within this world and why those are suffering with mental health. I have come here to live through the depths of suffering and I have done things to try to end my life where there, it is completely impossible for a human being to live through that experience. But I was made to live through these experiences to understand the depths of suffering and the ways that people suffer as I have lived through all the different forms of abuse, carrying the hate and resentments, carrying the shame and guilt, carrying the not feeling worthy or good enough. And I spent the 30 years learning and growing to try to heal to find freedom and in my life today i have freedom and it's a very beautiful gift of all the work that i have done and learning and growing through these dimensions of suffering and now i work strictly in the pureness of light energy as i have gained the wisdom the tools and the knowledge to understand to teach here to give back to those who are struggling and suffering and in my life today 
I have all my work that I am doing one-on-one -on -one with people. And I have posted freely on my Facebook group page and YouTube channel, Jeffrey Saunders, The Canadian Healing Medium. And people have access where you do not need to pay for your freedom to purchase it. And this is what I have aligned for people that more and more are growing with my page to understand the truth of what I am putting freely to the public. And it's just asking for donations if a person chooses to. I am grateful to have gone through all the experiences of suffering in my life because I am not in it anymore. I can see the truth of what they were and to be able to use to give back to the world in the way that I've been designed to and to live fully in the truth of my light as I move forward on my path here to give back, I am truly grateful for all the experiences I've gone through. To give back to you, my brother or sister of a soul, no matter what race you are, what sex you are, what you believe in, we are all bodies of light energy living through this human form. And I get to give back to each and every one of you who desires what it is that I am offering. So thank you for hearing my story today. I hope it connected with someone who needed to hear my story, to hear the truth of the vibrations that are around us at all times that are just vibrating in different ways. But as soon as we feel a certain feeling shifting to the dimension that shifts around us that our soul is actually feeling and going through and understanding on how to bring freedom here from the depths of suffering. And this is what I am here doing today. So I hope to connect with each person who is out there, who has been looking for inner freedom and to know that what I have is there free of cost to purchase as I solely just want to give back to each and every one of you. Thank you.